Hi, we are back for another lecture. We had mentioned that we will do import uh, points. So I want us to use this um, general plan that I have here. Uh, general plan to be particular is about it's it's two zero or oh, six six zero two of twenty zero one. We have some three properties there, and then we've got some coordinates there. This is how a, a general plan looks like. So, what we want to do is recreate this uh, general plan in Model Maker. So, how do we do it? Um, for me, you can use uh, Excel to write down your points, or you can use, use Notepad. For my videos, I'll be using Notepad. I'm more conversant with uh, Notepad. So, uh, I'll open my Notepad here. I've already typed the the coordinates in notepad so i have them here so how do you type them in notepad so for example if my my uh, coordinate id is 20a i shall write 20a there then i'll separate this with the eastings by pressing on tab on your uh, keypad then there you can write in your coordinates you can write in your coordinates and tab again and write in your coordinates so whenever you are done with uh, this, just make sure you, you save. I have this already saved to my destination where I, it's easy for me to find. You can also do the same and save it. Okay, so a <clears throat> few things to note before you even go to Model Maker is what system is your, your general plan or whatever you're working in. So mostly they write here the coordinate system, but for this one they didn't write, unfortunately. But I know it's in... Uh, or 29 so make sure as you are opening this data in model maker or importing it make sure your model maker is not in northern hemisphere but in southern hemisphere remember we have to go to settings to change that we shall put in our southern hemisphere there and say okay okay running demo and say okay okay fine so we have south there now okay so now let's try to import our model maker how do we do it we have to go to file when this window pops up, there will be sorry, file. There will be an import ASCII data and ASCII and others. Just stand there, don't click it. It will bring you another menu, which you find defined format DXF, DWG, civil design, and so on and so forth. Our interest here is uh, a defined format. You have this window pop up for most uh, model makers. What will pop up first is. Um, if you haven't used model maker before what you have is something like this you have something like this so just make sure you navigate to to your user user and then go to where you you find your desktop or whatever files if you're saving in desktop you just find for for this one i've saved it in desktop so i'll navigate desktop it is saved in mm i've saved it in the new folder and the new folder has got this before i even get to here what you have to take note is uh, the file extension type there's a drop down there so if you are dealing with a uh, notepad like the way i'm dealing with this make sure you have txt there txt there and then if you are why i'm saying so if you're having a notepad format here and your format here is let's say something else you won't have you won't see your data there if you have uh, a CSV, the one that is generated from Excel, if you press on it, it should, should come there. But if you didn't save it as a CSV, it won't show. So mine is a text from Notepad, so it's a TXT. So I'll put it there and then it will even pop up there. So when you click on it, there will be an option saying open on the bottom. So just say open. This menu here, if you're using Model Maker for the first time, uh, you have something like this there make sure you change this to sends what I mean is this if you see the first row here these are called chords so C is for chords the next is Eastings so E C E E is for Eastings N is for no things if you've got heights if you're doing anything with heights you can put Z there for heights 
so make sure you also have it there if it's not there on your options you can just simply type it c i'll just put it in cap c e sorry c e n z make sure here you have your left not your right clicked just have your left clicked on the form format too next you want to do is go to default on top there and just make sure that you have used tab if you are using tab to separate the codes is thing nothing make sure it's highlighted there for notations uh, decimal notation make sure if you are putting a point make sure it's there if you are using comma for points you can do that okay then just drag this down there should be an okay down there and say okay then you have something like this pop up so what you have to do now is just compare whether um, what you are seeing there is more or less what is there in your GP so I'm seeing 5c on top and 5d when I go back to my model maker I should at least see 5c 5d on top okay now that we've imported um, let's try to make uh, the, 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 the drawing this drawing let's try to join the drawing sorry sorry So if you also look at AutoCAD at some point, we there are those who people who are keen to use AutoCAD. So in other videos to come, we can we can do up AutoCAD for your liking. Okay, back to our model maker. So let's recreate this in model maker. Okay, fine. So um, if you look at, I'll just minimize this and put it somewhere. If you look at um, so minimize model maker um, so that we have two views okay I also put this one to the side okay so if you look at uh, our drawing there we shall yes that's much better we shall connect these lines so you remember last time i said you want to add a line in model maker just go to the line menu so we'll go to the line line add and then i want to add from two points you can add from a polygon okay let me just show you so if you're using uh two points you can just say there make sure your dtmc if i'm not if i had to put a line to just come anywhere else but we don't need that we want our lines to be as precise as possible so what i'll do is i'll make sure my dtm is activated so line point to point and dtm so there's a line that comes from 5c to 5d so if i go near there it will snap from 5c to 5d and then there's a line that comes from 5d to 5f i'll get that to 5f another one from f to what's this 5a yes so also do the same to 5a you don't have to drag a line just click on it and click it's click and click so click and click click and click okay so we have more or less created uh, this polygon here this is a real reserve uh, mostly when people were doing this had a map that was guiding them for the real reserve so we won't use it for now we'll just follow the polygons the other properties are down there in which I'm seeing 17a 17b so let's try to connect that here I'll pan using my wheel okay so uh, 17a to 17b 17a to 17 I think I have messed up Miss 17B. Okay, we will create it actually to be a nice lesson for let's let's do 18. We'll do 18A to B, B goes to C, C goes to D and back to A. We shall close this as well. Okay, so what's missing what's missing here is our 17D. If you can notice there, 17D is missing. Okay. What I want to do is uh, I want to have, okay. Okay. 
So let's try to create. We shall use now our. Remember, I said our survey function. Where is it? Somewhere here. Yeah, this one. I said we shall use our survey function one of these fine days. These are one of these fine days we're talking about. So we shall use. Uh, we shall create this 17, 17b using the distance and the bearing. So how do we do that? Okay, so if you go to Model Maker, there's a survey function. Just click on it. Okay, running demo as usual. There's join polar and convert. So what are we going to do here? We're going to go on join. Ah, no, no, let's not use join. Let's go direct on polar. And then we shall say we're computing a point 17B. Where are we computing it from? We're computing it from 17A. So you click, you stand on 17A. It will bring you this uh, window. It will ask you, okay, so what is the distance from 17A to your 17B? We have 441.88. Okay. Then our direction there is this one here, 253, 33, 40. 253 degrees, 33 minutes, 30, rather, yeah, 30, 30 seconds. How do we put it here? So we say 253. We shall say we won't say degrees. We shall say uh, we shall use a decimal point. So so to the two fifty three point for the minutes. We'll put thirty three. Then here we won't put anything. There will be nothing separating the minutes and the seconds. So we shall directly directly write thirty for our seconds, and say okay. It asks us okay now what is the point name? Our point name is. 17 b just write it there the small letter b and say okay okay so we have uh we have created 17 b okay so let's just join it now um, dtm should be on 17 and we shall close oh sorry we shall close it like that okay so we have us our own we can just even connect these same lines yeah so we we have created something like that oh here's our 17b so probably the coordinates were wrongly put we can just say point click on it delete okay it's gone okay so this is all about importing your points and we've actually used some part of line and we used some part of um, survey function so yeah next next video we shall look at on how we can uh, maybe create points along that line create points along that line we shall just do a demo on those using survey okay so this is it for this video thank you